All right, so I tried sanding the bathroom without a mask, and it was just getting too bad. And since, well, every mask in the world is going to medical use right now, hopefully this shirt holds up. Should be all right. Um, usually if I'm in a pinch and I need a mask, I'll use a shirt and I'll wet it down. You don't want to soak it because uh, then you're kind of just waterboarding yourself and well, that's miserable. So uh, just get your shirt just a little damp so it keeps or it catches all the stuff and you should be fine. Hey Rick, so we got everything sanded out pretty nice. Um, so I'm gonna throw a coat of primer on this, get the vanity in here and I'll start doing some trim. We're gonna be doing some uh, custom like wainscoting around everything and uh, I want the vanity to be in all the way tight against the wall in its place before I uh, start putting any of the trim in. Uh, let's get to it. usually never happens and two bristles fall out well let's see Purdy always uh, puts whoever made the brush on here let's see what we got looks like a, a Gary handcrafted by either Gary or Danny Number 127 brush maker, Portland, Oregon. Listen guy, girl, whoever you are, I had two fall out of my brush. What's going on? What's up? Three. That's the third one. All right, guy, we're, we're going to have issues if I keep having this happen. I'm wasting my brush. I pay a lot of money for these brushes. But yeah, I do prefer these parties over any brush. Guys, guys, I'm not trying to make you look bad, but, but geez, come on. I, mean, I love your product, but I shouldn't be losing bristles like that. Now I'm going to continue using your product because that's very rare that it actually happens. Look at this. There's another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. It's horrible. That's, that's, uh, whoever made this brush out here, that's who it is. Whoever that is, got to get your, get your game together. Making me very emotional. It. Shut your mouth. Yes, I have. You just told me you didn't. Which one? All the Adam Sandler movies. I've seen all the Adam Sandler movies. I've seen Waterboy. I've seen um, The Do Over. I've seen The Week of. I've seen Murder Mystery. Um, what about Happy Gilmore? No, I haven't seen Happy Gilmore. Then you haven't seen it. What about Big no, Daddy? No, the one where it says. What about Mr. Deeds? No, okay, but listen. With the one where he says, "My my mama said," that's Waterboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've seen that one. And the only reason I haven't seen the other Adam Sandler movies is because we don't have them! This job is 
obnoxious. Hey, I'm not obnoxious. Okay, you should. My mom says I'm obnoxious. I'm gonna hit you. No, no. no. You should talk to her. Never, ever be no. Ooh, there's a song I was listening to called Good Girl, and it's, it's really good. You ruined my video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hi! <laughs> they need to go back to school. I'm gonna kill her. I swear I'm gonna kill her. Can I eat this? No! It's for me. Give me, give me. Dad tax. I'm eating the other one. Dad tax. Dad tax. Okay. They're not allowed to have candy unless I get it first. <laughs> Alright, so somebody wanted this nice fancy little uh, vanity here, and uh, somebody else put it in a way too small of a door! I think this is only like a 24 inch door, so it will fit it. I just gotta take these door stops off. See, it looks pretty good. And I just gotta level it out and uh, make sure it's not wobbling, and then. I got a uh, little back piece for it that goes here. And then I can start on my train. Alright, so that was easy to adjust it. Just the feet um, twist out a little bit. And nice and solid now. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get a couple of screws. I'm going to tack it into the wall just to make sure it doesn't move anywhere. Um, and they're going to put that back piece on. Alright, well, I'm just going to use the silicone to uh, stick it to the wall. Should be fine. I mean, it's not like a super heavy piece or anything crazy is going on with it. That should work fine. All right, so we're gonna try and do some fancy trim molding, wainscoting, whatever you wanna call it here. Um, I got a few different pieces of things. Uh, I guess the first thing we're gonna start off is one by four. This is gonna make a box here, and then there's gonna be a little detail on the inside of that, and then a little like chair rail on top of that. So, I guess uh, I'm going to start measuring, start cutting, and see what I can come up with. I know, I know. I need to go buy some saw horses and a little table for myself. But for now, this will work. Alright, so I just got some primed uh, pine. That's what I'm going to start with. Oh man, just like through every, all my school years, I forgot a pencil. I'll be back. A 45 here. There, that should work for me. See how this stuff works out. Cut my top piece.
have my chair and I'll sit on top of that. Yeah. kind of mock this out first and then I'll uh, go ahead and shoot everything off nice and tight. Piece of this puzzle. Ooh, just a hair shirt. <laughs> and that stupid thing is still it out. Alright, so this is what we came up with. Now I'm just going to add another piece of cord around here. Um, just to, for a little more design. Because my sister liked how that looked in the, uh, in the other pictures. She basically did the old, uh, let me Google something and let's see how it goes. So, this is what we came up with though. I think it looks pretty good. 
I like it. So I'm gonna wrap that all the way around on the whole bathroom. All right, so if you can see, yeah, the first couple nails I was shooting was, uh, they just weren't long enough. So I went and got longer ones and it finally held. And now with the 18 gauge, it's not holding these. So now I'm just gonna use my extremely long 16s. But <laughs> definitely not a fine carpenter. I mean, really, I'm a painter that's kind of been doing some carpentry and, you know, I kind of just watch other people, see what they do, and then do it myself, and, well, I don't know, but definitely going to have a whole lot of fixing to do, and at least I, uh, I'm good at fixing stuff, well, fixing holes and gaps. That kind of stuff I did a lot of. So I can make it pretty in the end. It's just going to look like hell until I get there. Yeah. The big one's whole plate. Oh, that's nice. That's a real nice.
Oh yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. I like it. Where is my ball? Oh yeah. Yeah, I definitely think that uh old top rail there definitely makes it. Got this other box done. Throw a rail on that real quick. Well I should have had that on camera. I didn't have it running, but uh, Yeah, that one curled and it went straight through my finger felt it hit the bone oh yeah that, that's it oh all right so i got the rough end of the trim put a piece of cord around there back up a little i like it i think it came out pretty good all right well trim and wainscoting is finished in here looks pretty good I got it all caulked up all the nails filled and sanded and couldn't really I wanted to do a little more to this window to make it stick out a little more but you know I would have loved to put like some 45 sticking out this way but to match this one I could have matched it here but then it's to the wall there so I think that would have looked a little funky but I think this turned out pretty good for uh, for a little bath um, and yeah so I think that's going to be the end of this video and then next video we're going to get everything painted and finalized um, we got paint for everything got outlet covers uh, let's see faucet we'll get the toilet in and get rid of this horrible light we'll get a new one well we got a new one so look a lot better than that all right guys well hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next video